Hey guys, I hope you had an amazing weekend. Today, we'll be taking a look at a few chart analysis for this um, coming week. We do this every Sunday, so if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, um, leave comments on which chart you want us to look at next week. So today, we're taking a look at seven different chart analysis, and we're going to go through them one after the other. So I'm going to try as much as possible to keep this video short. Um, something to <laughs> state right now is that next week is probably going to be a waiting game for me because clearly there's no you know straightforward chart analysis or signifying great trade opportunities but i'm just going to go through a few of the charts i'll be watching next week so you can you know maybe follow along as i navigate through the market but ideally next week is probably going to be a week of waiting okay so we're going to basically wait for trades to evolve and you know create this um sort of confirmations for us to actually prepare to take trades for the upper week so Probably this week, we might not get good trade opportunities as we did last week and the week before. But I'm just I'm still going to you know show you what I'll be watching out for um, as we you know move into this coming week. So starting with gold. So this is a gold chart on a 4 hours time frame. And if you take a look, we've been grinding slowly within this channel um, for the past one year. So um, if you've been following our channel, this is no longer news to you. I guess you must have been tired of me saying... We've been grinding uh, that one to this channel. So that's by the wayside. So the point is that we just bounced off a um, support, support level, giving us this uh, sort of double bottom on price action. Okay. So following that double bottom, this is a four hours chart. Um, you can see on the RSI, we also hit a double bottom on the RSI. So this sometimes is rare. Okay. Uh, although this double bottom came from this bullish divergence. So we talked about this bullish divergence. Um, in our previous uh, week um, video from last week and right now we are also having the same bullish divergence again although it's not as um, strong as what we had last week but it's indeed a bullish divergence and we had this massive run up to the upside so we might see some sort of retest of this area of value so this is an area of value um, acting as a support level we had a breakout reverse and then this bullish divergence but if you take a look at these uh, lows here, yeah, you can see this level and this level is clearly acting as a double uh, double bottom. And if you check uh, the price action, you can see this has a much higher low than the main bottom. And we had another uh, low higher than the main low. Okay, So you can see this uh, price action over here. I'm just going to zoom in a little. So this price action, excuse me. So this price action over here totally... Uh, replicates what's happening over here okay so this is how price action works so therefore we had a bullish move so we can uh, you know um expect the same likely bullish move up to the area of support or even breaking breaking higher so the um uh, scenario to go short in my opinion would be waiting for something like this so i'm going to wait for some sort of consolidation on this double bottom and then a break of this level for me to go short okay so I know we've been, you know, only going short on gold. That's because the uh, market structure is clearly bearish. So I'll be waiting for something like this to go short on gold. So we might not get um, exactly, you know, that pattern. We might not get a pattern that looks exactly like that, but we might get something like this instead and a break. So we might get something like this. And this will also be another opportunity for me to go short while I tr um, take off some profit at this level and trail the rest of my um, positions if we go lower and in order for me to go long i would wait for something like this okay so i will wait for a break of this area of value so this is clearly a resistance level where we had some sort of double top okay and i'll wait for a break of this level so it's going to be something like this so price just simply going to go up you know returns to go up you know price moves in waves and not a straight line so i wait for something like this in order for me to go long so a break above this high here a retest or a consolidation would be the scenario for me to go long on gold but for me to go short i'm simply going to wait for a pattern like this to play out okay probably extending all the way um to this area of value and a breakout for me to go short targeting this double bottom then i'm gonna you know go short again if we break this double bottom sending price lower so that's it for gold real quick uh, i don't want to uh, spend too much time on this video and moving on every usd uh, this is clearly uh, similar to what we have on gold okay so this has been on for almost a year now and we had some sort of heavy price movements 
across all major pairs last week. So to close the week, that's on Friday, we had um, heavy price movements. And you can see this massive price rejection here. I'm going to go down to the lower time frame so we can see uh, what happened down here real quick. So uh, this is a 2 hours time frame. And you can see we had some sort of a fake out and followed by a huge price rejection. So I actually did enter here and I lost some money, I think, yeah. But what I'm watching out for right now is something like this. I'm going to pull up the 5.2. So I'm going to wait for price to come close to the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level where I'm going to wait for some sort of confirmation on a bearish reversal before I go short, targeting the bottom of this um, channel. Okay, so now for me to go long, so we're going to take a look at the long scenario first before we take a look at the short scenario. So now for me to go long on AeroUSD, I'm going to wait for something like this. So I'm going to wait for price to break through these highs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait for price to, you know, slowly creep upwards, break through these highs, use it as a support, so by retesting, and then a bullish move before I go long on AeroUSD. So clearly this would signify a potential break in the bearish trend, okay? That's lasted for almost a year now. So alternatively, it could be something like this. So it could be um, a slight consolidation, a break, a bullish continuation pattern, and a break of that pattern for me to go long. So these are the two scenarios I'm going to watch out for in order for me to go long on Aero USD. Okay, so excuse me. So I'm not just going to go long if we break this trend line. Okay, if you check uh, the channel, excuse me. So if you check, if you excuse me. Yeah, so if you go way back, all the way back, you see this channel has held quite nicely. Okay, you can see channel tracks the price action quite nicely. So I'm not just going to jump into a bad trade if we break this channel because this could just be simple uh, price action. Okay, so this could be a rising uh, and ascending channel. So we could get price um, doing something like this. Just excuse me. So remember, what you read on books do not actually play out exactly as they are, you know, depicted on books. So the reality of trading is quite different from what we see on books. You know, books draws the line in a perfect shape and all that. But we could get something like this. So we could get something like this, touching this level, coming down, touching this level, and then a break to the downside. So if price breaks through this channel, it doesn't mean we have broken the bearish trend, okay? Or we'll come down again to break this uh, long-term channel. It doesn't mean we have you know broken the bearish trend so this can also play out so don't be fooled or don't be tricked into going long here because you see price closing above this trend line it could simply mean price is creating a um ascending triangle okay but since we're in a bearish trend if we break to the downside it can also mean a continuation of the bearish trend okay so in order for you to double uh you know check the break of this trend line you could duplicate this so you could wait for something like this okay as your confirmation so a break below this range could be your confirmation that we're going lower if something like this were to play out but if you're going to go long so i will wait for something like this if we're going to go long so if we had the same pattern okay touch reversal touch reversal i'll wait for a breakout a bullish consolidation before going long or a retest before going long so these are i would um this is what I watch out for for Aero USD. So in case you see price closing above this trend line, don't be fooled to go long and thinking the bearish trend has been broken. So if you understand market structure, you understand that if we take out this high, get a bullish continu continuation pattern and a breakout, that would be a better scenario to go long. But price could simply just range, get a bearish breakout and continue continue downtrend. So moving on, I want to talk about GBB USD. This is a bit confusing. And I'm just going to stay away from this one for now because I clearly can't see a good opportunity for a short position. Because if you should take these lows, so if you take these lows like this, this could be a breakout and a retest, okay? This could be a breakout and a retest. And this could also mean that we are going to touch this trend line because this is a long-term trend line. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. So this is a long-term trend line um, from early this year. Okay, tracking all the way down to this price current uh, current price levels. So if uh, we get price breaking through this area of value, so this uh, green line here, so this range is our area of value because, excuse me, because that's added as a support before, a resistance, resistance, and now price um, seems to be going towards those levels. So if we get a break of this area of value, 
we might head higher so we might go up to touch this place before maybe reversing and this could also mean uh, a bearish uh, reverser because this could be uh, this could be a retest because we have a breakout from this trend line so this could be a retest so either way it's just going to be a game of patience this week to see what price does so price might create some sort of you know price action like this uh, using this area of value as a uh, resistance level and then we might simply just hold this level as a good support level okay so it might be something like this and maybe later this week or um, two weeks time we get a proper breakout from this level um, being a good support level so this is something i'm going to watch out for so this is something that could play out okay so we could also see a breakout to the upside retesting the, uh retesting this trend line and then dropping hard but we have no idea what's going to be that's why i said it's going to be a game of patience so we let the market make its move and we trade accordingly okay so we don't make assumptions okay so we just anticipate wait for the market to make its move and then take action so this is something i'm going to be watching out for a consolidation with price using this uh, area of value as a support and this base as a sorry this area of value as a resistance and this base as a support then a break to the downside would be a much better trade for me because even if we break through this area of value the uh, distance from here to this channel might not be worth trading okay it might not be worth it to me and if you take a look at this area of value here so we also have another small area of value here so it might you know correspond with uh price price action touching this area of value and this channel so that would still not signify a break of market structure until maybe we break above these levels so that being said it's just going to be a game of waiting for gbp usd to play out to see what the market does so we can take appropriate uh you know price uh appropriate trade positions depending on the uh, direction market is heading so maybe by then um, next Sunday, I will make more reviews on GBUSD. So for now, it's just going to be a game of patience. So moving on, AUD USD, something very interesting. So this is a two hours chart on AUD USD, massive bearish trend as we have across most of the major currencies. So you can see this is an ascending triangle. Okay, so from the massive bust we had on Friday uh, across all major pairs, this could be a potential sign of a reversal. So we might get a retest or bullish move consolidation and a bullish move to the upside but clearly this is still a downtrend so it's going to be risky because you have no idea when price or if price is going to reverse in continuation of the trend so if you're going to be trading this you should be careful and try to trade with low risk because this is kind of like a counter trend trend trading which i really don't recommend so if you pull up the fibonacci retracement too from these highs down to these lows you will see we have a very good area value corresponding with the 50 percent fab level so the 50 percent fab level is actually a very strong level to watch out for so if we get price coming into this area of value that could be a potential sign of a bearish reversal okay so we could see price excuse me um so we could see price coming all the way up okay to this area of value before we get our bearish reversal or price could eventually break through this level and just keep going higher so uh if you are going to trade this breakout from this ascending triangle your first target should be at this 50 percent fab level that's if we get there but if you are trading this you have to wait for some sort of confirmation signifying that we're going higher so that confirmation could be something like this it could be a uh, bullish continuation pattern and a break of that bullish continuation pattern for you to go long okay so i'm going to check out the uh price range so from this level to so this level this will give you 150 pips that's also a decent profit if you will be trading uh this price action okay but for me i'm just gonna stay i'm gonna stay away from this uh opportunity because i really don't like to trade against the trend unless i know there's a confirmation that the trend has been broken but right now just a break of this um small resistance level or this ascending um triangle doesn't mean the trend is breaking okay it simply might just mean some sort of small or uh, reversal but if you break this area of value okay get a consolidation and head higher to this area then that would um probably step me up to look towards opening buy positions so for now if you're going to be trading take low risk wait for some sort of confirmation target these levels first take out some profit if we break through get a confirmation that we're going higher then you can enter again 
so this is my outlook outlook for AUD USD. Moving on, Nasdaq. So Nasdaq, same thing we have on um, AUD USD. So we're currently moving within this sort of um, ascent triangle. So this is an area of value, support level, resistance level, and now we are retesting this level. So we might get a breakout if the dollar tends to, you know, be weak uh this uh coming week so if we if the dollar is weak so maybe we might get some sort of pullback and then a breakout consolidation so a consolidation and then a follow through so this could be something to watch out for for this coming week so um there's a very good area of value here as well so this could be a good area of value so if we break out from this triangle so price could you know get some sort of consolidation on this area of value before going higher that's if we'll be going higher and this would only play out if the dollar tends to be weak so before we round up this video i'm going to take a look at the dxy real quick to see where we are or with price action so we can actually make better decisions by trading these commodities and you know the major currency pairs so this is what i'll be watching out for for uh, nasdaq if we indeed break through this um um, this highs here so we're going to target this other area of value then wait for a consolidation a break of this area of value before we you know aim for higher targets and a movement so excuse me i'm going to measure this price movement so a movement from this breakout to these highs would be approximately 300 pips which is also a decent profit why to go short i'm going to wait for a reversal that's if we get a reversal indeed i'm going to wait for a reversal a break of this triangle and a break of these lows okay so i'm going to wait for a break of these lows for me to actually go short on nasdaq so excuse me this looks messy so i'm going to get rid of some of these um lines okay yeah so for me to go short i'm going to wait for some sort of pullback a break of this trend line so i'm not going to go short if this trend line gets broken i'm only going to go short if we get some sort of bounce off this area so this is kind of like a mini support consolidation or a bounce and a breakthrough so this would be a scenario for me to go short on nasdaq but if we get a straight break okay like this i'm not just going to go short because you have no idea when the price is going to reverse or if it's going to reverse but if we should get a slow build up to this area of support and a consolidation and a break breakout i'm going to go short because it gives a better risk to reward ratio okay as you know, the Nasdaq is a heavy, heavy um, indexic. So, um, if you're not careful enough, you might, you know, end up opening trades with a, you know, um, a very big stop loss, um, which I don't really, you know, I don't like. So, I'm gonna wait for a um, healthy build up to this support level and a breakout for me to go short. Why to go long? I'm gonna wait for a break of this um, area of value, a retest or a bullish continu continuation pattern, targeting its highs. And if we break through these highs, then I'm going to aim higher. So that's it for NASDAQ real quick. Uh, moving on, we're going to take a look at USDCHF. Pretty interesting chart. Okay, so this is our previous high from May, uh, May and June. So this is our high and we did actually kind of go above those highs and now seems like a fake out. So remember, this is also a major currency pair with the US dollar as the uh, base currency. So that's why we had this massive dump on Friday so this could be a potential reversal coming down to these lows okay coming down to this trend line we have here but i wouldn't be so sure because even if we go down we have an area of value so i'm just going to show you something real quick so this is a rising wedge and it seems like we are going to be breaking this wedge next week but that doesn't mean i'm going to jump into a sell trade because we are having a good support level here okay so we have a consolidation we have a bounce another bounce and even if we break through this trend line this could be an area where price would bounce in continuation of the bullish trend okay but that doesn't mean we shouldn't take advantage of a breakout so what i'm going to watch out for if we break through this trend line we come down to this area of value so this support level i'm going to wait for a consolidation above or underneath before I go short okay so I'm gonna wait for a consolidation above like this and if we get a breakout from this support level then that will be my cue to go short targeting this um, other area of value first okay so I'm gonna target these lows before targeting lower levels that's if we should head lower alternatively I'm gonna wait for something like this so I'm gonna get rid of this so alternatively I'm gonna wait for something like this so a break retest 
and movement to the downside or i'm going to wait for consolidation a break okay a consolidation and a break of that consolidation before i go short but uh, the most probable scenario would be you know waiting for price to grind slowly to these levels consolidate a bit because this level looks like a significant level and a breakout before i go short on uh, USCHF. but remember this would be a counter trend trading and if you are going to be trading this just simply going with a very low risk because you have no idea when price is going to reverse so moving on um that's for nasdaq so for a buy uh, trade opportunity i can't really see one right now because the chart isn't as clear as i want it to be so i'm just going to watch out for the sell trade opportunity but next week i think the chart would have been matured enough for us to get the opportunity to go long then i'll share that but in my opinion this is just my view i'm only going to consider going short if this scenario plays out so moving on usd jpy last chart for this week now this is a very big massive flush from um jpy um on friday so this happened across all pairs carrying jpy as either the uh, base or quote currency so if you pull up the five two so from these lows straight up to these highs okay you will notice uh, the 61.8 percent five level lies on this area of value so this is a significant area of value where we have this long-term resistance level before we had a breakout two weeks ago so i'm going to wait for price to come close to these levels give me some sort of reversal pattern and then i'm going to go long in continuation of the trend because usjp has clearly been in a massive bullish trend so if i should go um if i should you know zoom out you can see massive bullish trend and every time we had these spikes okay it just led to another massive bullish ride so i'm going to watch out for this a retest of this area of value a good uh reversal candlestick pattern or a chart pattern and then i'm going to trade a breakout to the upside so this is also going to be a game of patience because we have no idea how it's going to play out but i'm going to be patient enough to see what happens and if i get the opportunity to go long i'm going to take it okay so that's it for this week so real quick let's take a look at the dxy so this is the dollar strength index it measures the strength of the us dollar so as you can see this is a symmetrical triangle and we just had a bearish breakout so this means the dollar is probably going to be weak next week okay <laughs> weak next week sounds nice so this means the pro the dollar is probably going to be weak and this also means aero usd gbb usd AUD usd gold nasdaq they are probably going to go higher okay so you can trade accordingly so now the dollar could you know make a reversal to this area of value where we get a bounce in continuation of the strength of the dollar but don't take my word for it okay just be patient follow the market as it moves so you can see this massive bearish move here on the dxy actually translates to what happened on friday that led to those massive specs so that led to this massive move on gold so this is good so uh the bearish move on dxy so i'm going to go to dxy right now so this is dxy so this bearish move translated to what happened on gold that's this bullish move on gold this bullish move on aero usd this bullish move on gbp usd this bullish move on aud usd a bullish move on uh, nasdaq and bearish move on usd chf because from all the major currencies i just uh, ma ma made mention of the usd is actually the uh, base currency in usd chf where for the others the usd is the quote currency so i believe you understand what that means and also led to the bearish move on usd jpy so this is very important and something to watch out for this coming week if the dollar remains weak then expect um the opposite to happen across those major currencies having the us dollar as a quote currency and expect a bullish expect a bearish move for major currencies having the usd as a quote current as the as the as, as the base currency yeah so that's it for this week's analysis um i hope this helps and it's just my view of the market so it's going to be mostly a game of patience for me this week and i'm going to do this again next week sunday so if you love the content please like um share with your friends leave comments on what you think and your opinions see you next week